Coronavirus, of course, has been moving across Europe. We saw it expand very quickly in Italy over the last uh, few weeks, and we're seeing it expand now in France and Germany. It may be apparent to you that I am speaking to you from my home. I'm speaking to you from my home because I am in self-isolation because I came in contact with an individual last week who turned out to be coronavirus positive. Things are changing. Uh, things are changing fairly quickly. As a result of this, the Department of Defense has chosen to take some protective measures intended to preserve the readiness of our force here in Europe, as well as the health and welfare of our soldiers, our civilians, and our families. Uh, the Secretary of Defense issued instructions that effectively restrict travel from one country in Europe to another country in Europe, or from Europe to the U.S. or vice versa for all uniformed military personnel, Department of the Army, civilians, and our families and dependents. We know this policy is going to have a very big impact on everybody in the command. We know you have a ton of questions, and we're working as hard as we can to get answers to those questions and to put out policies that make sense and will help you stay safe, help our community stay healthy, and will promote the readiness of our force. There are going to be a variety of places to get information on it, starting from the U.S. Army Europe website, your local garrison website, garrison town halls, meetings with your chain of command, and it's our commitment to get as much information out as quickly as we can. Um, but it's important that we all work on this together, that we stick together. We know how to do this. We've overcome tough things before, and this is just another one of those things that we're going to be able to get past. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves and wash your hands.